Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I want to talk to you about the two-step. Oh wait, no, I mean the one step. That's right, the one step. The Polaroid one step. The pinnacle of 90s technology. So, in this video, I will talk about some of the features and how to use this camera and I will show you some of the photos that I've taken with this camera. So sit back, relax, and um, I guess just keep sitting. One quick thing before we begin. I made another video, a giveaway video, as a thank you to everyone that subscribed. Uh, this channel hit 500 subs not too long ago. So that really means a lot, and I wanted to say thank you, and so I will be giving this very camera away. So go check that video out. So anyways, back to the camera. Okay guys, so let's work our way around the camera, and I will show you the different settings and features that this camera has. So first up is the lens. It's a 116 millimeter f11 plastic lens or at least that's uh, the info that I could find on this camera. Now, there's no autofocus, so it's a fixed focus lens. And the focusing scale or focusing distances goes from four feet to infinity. So the close-up part of this camera is due to the fact that there's a secondary lens that you use by moving that little slider over and it will allow you to shoot things that are two to four feet away. So if you wanna shoot something up close, you're gonna to have to switch that over, but you're just adding a you know second piece of cheap plastic in front of this already cheap plastic lens and I never use it. Right here on the front of the camera is your exposure compensation slider. So slide it over towards the white arrow if you wanna make your image brighter and slide it the other way towards the dark arrow if you want to make your image darker. Right here is the uh, light meter. Here's your, uh, the front of the viewfinder window. This is your shutter button. So when your camera is loaded up and charged and ready to go and you've framed up your image, you're going to pull this trigger. Now when you pull that, um, it's going to fire the flash. And if you don't want the flash to fire, uh, there's this little guy right here, this sort of secondary uh, shutter trigger, and you can fire the camera without the flash. And this little guy right there is how you open up this front part and that's where you load the film in. So I will show you that now. Push that guy and presto changeo, this is where you load in the film. So here is the film cartridge from Impossible Project. And you can see here, let me make sure this is in focus. Right here is the battery, where the battery, um, or the contact plates for the battery. And the camera itself doesn't actually have a battery in it. The film cartridges are what power the camera. Okay, so now we're gonna load in this film cartridge into the camera, and when I do so, it's gonna spit out this uh, top light shield. And that's how you know the camera is working pretty well. Or at least a sign that the camera is working well. So I'll throw that in there. Make sure it's in. Close this up. Boom. So if you're buying a used camera, and it's a good idea to, to bring something like this to test it out. And if you do that, you put it in and it, it shoots out um, very easily like it just did, then you're in good shape. Um, 
early sets a really good sign that the camera is in good working condition now that the camera is on you can see right here there's a green light that's gonna let you know that your flash is ready to go so if you put in a film cartridge um, yeah make sure that green light is on your camera's charged and ready to go what I also like about this camera is that it has uh, this camera strap built into it it's a pretty thin strap but it's nice I like it I wear it it works so that's pretty much it for the different features and functions of this camera. Um, it's it's a pretty good camera for a you know plastic camera from the 90s. The build quality is is pretty good. You know it's all plastic, but it's pretty solid. And from what I've read and seen online, and in my own experience as well. This is a reliable camera. All right, so let's go through some of the photos that I've taken and I'll talk about my experience uh, with this camera and the impossible 600 color film and then we'll look at some black and white film. So this subject's probably about six feet away. I'm using the flash, it's at sunset and the flash is still hitting him and the, the photo is a little bit soft, um, but not too bad. Now this is Will, my friend's son, and I really like this image. Uh, the lighting conditions were almost perfect, and uh, the, the colors are really subtle, and I just like the way it looks a lot. Um, there's a picture of me, and you can see down here and over there, there's like this cracking stuff, it looks like, and I think that's from dirty rollers on the camera when the film gets spit out it goes through a set of rollers that spreads the chemistry around the film and develops the photo and so if your rollers are dirty they have gunk on them they need a cleaning you can just wipe them down with uh, a wet cloth or something and this photo no real reason to show it other than I like it all right, so let's look at some black and white stuff. Uh, the black and white stuff is pretty tricky to shoot, I think. Uh, you really gotta nail the exposure. And uh, this one, you know, it looks kind of cool. It looks very old to tiny. It kind of has a sepia tone to it. And the sharpness isn't horrible. Here's another photo of a couple of kids uh, getting ready to go surf and the pier by my house. It's kind of blurry. That's one of the things with this camera is blurry images, not because of the lens so much, but because um, of slow shutter speeds, I believe. So it, it can get pretty tricky and it takes a little while to get used to, but hang in there and you'll get the hang of it. I think that pretty much covers it for this camera. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will try to answer those for you. If you already own a Polaroid and have some photos and you want to share them, you can upload them to filmphotography.club. You can create your own account and share some photos there. I'll be sure to include them in the next video. Also, don't forget to check out the camera giveaway. I'll be giving this very camera away to one lucky subscriber. So please go check that video out. I will put a link in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like. And also don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you next time.